tried to get the paint from JP or the painted body panels from JP maybe last week. Yeah, sometime last week. And the color wasn't quite right, so what we like started over, got a different color blue with a different flake. Um and so it's ready right now and I'm heading over there Saturday morning so I'm driving over to JV Auto Body and um, pick up some of the parts whatever I can fit in here but um, it should look exactly what we you know we're hoping for JP like knows what we're looking for the first try we had like brought him our own paint because we thought it would be what we wanted and he's like no you should have let me pick so now we just let him do it and it's like the right i don't know contrast with the uh, um the flake because we needed the metallic flake in there and a bright blue and it looks just right so we're gonna go pick that up right now and bring it back to the shop and put some of those panels on today all right guys so, oh so he out guys he outdid himself crazy That's so cool. So sparkly and bright blue. This is gonna look cool. All right, we did it. Now it's time to go back to the shop, install some of the stuff, and I have to drive back over here to grab the hood so we can't fit everything. And then the hatch later. Parts are everywhere. All right. See you guys at the shop. Back at the shop, we got the the blue with rainbow sparkle parts from JV back and they're very sparkly. Pretty cool. Um, looks good. Now we're just gonna try and lay it all out and make our plan for install. Never had anything this sparkly yet. It's crazy. So, putting some work in on the Supra. Check it out. Ooh. So, we're gonna wrap that door. A little bit different color, blue. Wrap this door, wrap the hood, and uh, that's not gonna happen for a second, so. Gonna have to get used to it with the gray doors for the next couple days. But um, right now, working on the back of the car. So we got the panels that me and Joe had made back from powder coat, this piece and this piece. And then um, at the time being right now, I'm gonna button up this back area. So cell is in. Now I need to connect the fuel hoses, the electrical to the cell, and then the um, fuel fill neck and so when we do that we're gonna check out some of this HPS stuff here so we got a goodie box from HPS of all the stuff we're gonna need for this season um, I've been working with HPS since 2014 I think yep 2014 and prior to that I did use some of their products already and then I was lucky enough to get a sponsorship from them and I would never switch hoses because they have the best stuff and they don't fail. Um, some of the stuff we replace every season on my car just to be safe and HPS is okay with that and they understand that a race car needs to you know, be working when you need it to work. Even though I've never had a failure with any HPS stuff, we still replace stuff each year. And as long as they're okay with it, I'm okay with it. So I was gonna show you guys what we're gonna install. So got some warm clamps here. And we have this two and a half, two and a quarter inch silicone coupler. Uh, so I am gonna put the fill neck in there now next first off though get these guys set up all 
Oh man. Let me find the pipe. I think I put it in here. Yeah. So all this stuff is fresh back from powder coat. Um, this is something I had welded. It'll go in there. The inside of it's been sandblasted so nothing's gonna come out of it. But it goes underneath the ductwork like this and goes into this HPS coupler like that. And clamp this in. I'm gonna grab, so what I do is I put a six inch, two and a quarter inch hose. I think I told you guys this already. Put it on here. Then it gives a little bit of flex if I was to like crumple in the corner of the car on the wall. So I'm gonna install that and I'll put, uh, this is last year's setup, but I'm gonna retire this hose just to be safe. Even though it's a nice silicone four ply hose, it's not really recommended to use with fuel, but we've been testing it for a couple years, so like I told you, it works. Um, so I'm gonna install this, the two clamps, my filler neck, uh, and then I'm gonna move on to the wiring and the fittings, and then I'll I'll plug my uh, battery and ECU in, and I'll do like a quick check, make sure the pumps are working, and then I'll install the back chunk of the car, the back fiberglass piece, which is nice and painted with the metal flake from JV Auto Body. Um, then we can put the rear fenders on because right now we're waiting on that for the rear fenders. We don't have the hatch yet, so we're still waiting on that. Uh, but I'm just trying to get this area kind of done and happy with it and then I'll move on to the front area and continue on that because we have a lot of stuff to do on the front and a lot of stuff not enough time so let's continue on okay update chance is here and he's happy super happy let's just take a look at him looks pretty happy You have more important things like a Supra. What are you doing? Jesus Christ. Somebody has to put this thing together. Move. Ah, oh, God. See how happy he is? <laughs> so, we got the rear duct on the top. Checked out the wiring. Made a little vent here. We're gonna make a bracket to hold that. It's our new fuel vent. Pretty happy with that. Taking a look in here. It's cool because this camera can even see in this dark area. Connected all the hoses and the wiring, so that's pretty good. We're gonna test the wiring here in a second, and then we are not putting this top ducting piece on until the very last minute um, before everything else goes together because we gotta test it. Well, we gotta test everything to make sure, but spent maybe like an hour and a half back there checking out all that stuff, that's why. Uh, I'm gonna update you guys Then I gotta go to the front, but for now I'm gonna double check fuel pumps, so I'll put the laptop in and just turn them on manually um, Make sure the right things are happening and then I'll move on Okay, so we're putting the back fiberglass piece on it consists of four bolts on the back and one on each so one M8 M8 M8, and then there's an M6 that goes through here, right here. Perfect. Okay, so got this all bolted on. We also got this all done back here, fresh ducting. Put the license plate back on. Unfortunately, the license plate has a smoked hue to it. A little bit too much tire smoke and heat from the fans, but it's good. Um, now that we have this all in, then we will start connecting rear bumper, rear fender. So I gotta put the rear bumper on first, so I'm gonna tighten all this stuff in. Put the rear bumper on, then throw the rear fenders on. Um, we'll show you guys when we're done with that. 